All right, so we're going to continue learning roll 20. Um, it has occurred to me that our starting page, it's a little plain um, and kind of hard on the eyes to look at. Um, yeah, it's a cool wooden table or whatever, but I did make it really big and we left the grid on. If the grid hadn't been on, we could have, uh, you know, scaled everybody up to be nice and big. We could still do that, of course, um, keeping the grid here just as sort of a workplace to set up tokens and everything. Uh, so I did a little looking online, and um, I found a user on Reddit who has uh, graciously provided some free landing pages for Roll20. That individual's name is uh, CP underscore tracks, and I'll put a link to the Reddit post in the description. And if that Reddit post ever disappears, I will, um, you know, provide the resources that were posted. So uh, what we could do here is if we don't feel like coming up with assets to drop here, um, we can just use one of these pre-made ones. And um, yeah, let me bring them over. So to bring a file over uh, to Roll20, again, you go to your assets folder where you're storing all your assets, uh, like uh, right here. And... In this case, I have two players in my campaign, so I'm going to use this uh, two-player landing page because he actually made um, two, three, four, five, and six-player landing pages. I'm going to drag it over, and it will upload to Roll20. All right. And yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? It's got, you know, candles and books and mysterious daggers and all sorts of stuff that is sort of, you know, brings some uh, some fun aspects to uh, play. Now, I made this starting page really big. So if we wanted to size it for um, this one, we could find out how big it thinks it is. So in order to do that, I'm gonna left click and select the asset. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to advanced and set dimensions. So again, when you go to dimensions in Roll20, it always defaults to pixels. So if I click the uh, down arrow and go to units, it says that it's roughly like 28 by 18. So we can actually go ahead and just set that to be 28 uh, by 18. Not a very big landing page at all, but that's fine. All right. Seems like it got a little squish, but that's not too bad. Um, so now, if we put it in the top left corner, we can practice changing the size of a Roll20 page. Uh, so I'm going to bid adieu to these other resources for now. Um, so to do that, I could just uh, go to my map layer and select them and delete them. And again, you don't want to have assets that you don't need, uh, especially if they're going to be hidden by other assets and never used, uh, because that will... Um, you know, chew up your uh, your users' data if they're on a hotspot, or just kind of slow down the loading of the page. So I'm going to move uh, this back to the map layer. So I'm going to grab the new drop, uh, or sorry, backdrop, and drop it to the background layer. There we go. So it is now on the map layer. We can tell it's on the map layer because it's got the grid over the top of it. And we know it's 28 by 18. So how do we change the size of a page? We're going to go to the top of the screen where that blue ribbon with the white piece of paper is. And we're going to click it. Uh, we're going to see all of our pages, which is one. Uh, we're going to see that when we mouse over that page, there is the blue box with the gear. I'm going to click it. And now I can change the page size. Uh, you got to be careful when you change the page size because it will crop all of your content. So I'm going to make this 28 by 18. And then I'm going to go and hit OK. And just like that, my landing page is nice and compact. And I have two places to stash my two characters. Um, if I had a game with three, four, five, or six characters, there are variants on this uh, particular free start page. So you could kind of swap it out. Here you have a nice blank area that you could kind of toss down whatever you think you need. So for example, if I had a map for the adventure, I could toss that down. So let's see. Uh, here we go. All right. So when we're talking about the map, I could have the map here. 
and then you know just sort of add it to the clutter that is already on the table pretty cool so um yeah real quick video if you want to save yourself some time and you want a nice looking um landing page uh for free um again uh a user on Reddit did make that available, and I will um, put it down in the description so you can go and check it out. In the next video, we're going to start um, actually prepping for um, Roll20 building. So I'm going to show you how to build some uh, useful templates and how templates can be built uh, quickly and easily. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.